Hi and good morning and today is the 5th of December 2021 and at 8am every um, Sunday um, UK London time we do a webinar for the um, well really a webinar on the news from Zimmer and Peacock for this week so that is that sort of vlog podcast webinar you know on our news um, for this week so let me just sort of essentially dive straight into it um, so um, some of the news from Zimmer and Peacock um, this week is we've um, unfortunately and I do mean this really obviously you know that um, we now have this Omicron variant um, that's you know that's unfortunately come about um, now from Zimmer and Peacock's perspective we've already developed a um, a biosensor for the detection of COVID-19 um, and the way the technology works you know it sort of binds to the surface of the um, virus so the um, SARS-CoV-2 um, biosensor from um, Zimmer Peacock binds to the surface of the virus and this means that um, as the virus unfortunately becomes more transmissible or um, the lethality goes up on it because essentially it's able to bind to humans and transmit between humans as that as those factors of the virus increase it uh, means that actually our biosensor becomes um, more and more um, uh, really essentially effective so the um, the biosensor from Zero Peacock that we developed along with Elixir and along with Exhalation is really effective um, at detecting the um, Omicron um, virus. So we're, it really is bad news for us as a global community, but at least one of the technologies, um, including ours, is able to um, detect, still um, carry on detecting that virus. Um, so I just wanted to kind of report upon that. Um, now, some other news from Zimmer Peacock from this week is we've got a really good um, team in Indonesia. Um, uh, you know, the, the guys work really hard out there. And just in the last couple of weeks, they've actually been visiting um, a, the universities. And um, they went to one of the universities um, in Indonesia and they took um, ZP technology along with them. So if you're watching um, the web version of this, you'll see that they've, you know, they organized meetings, they did presentations, um, they got the Anna Pot out and they actually did, um, let's say experiments and demonstrations with them. So really um, happy and pleased that the team in Indonesia um, is able to start going out there and doing demonstrations again. I just wanna say hi to Aftab who's just joined us online. So I appreciate um, after um, coming along this morning. So yeah, well done to the ZP for Asia um, team for getting out there in Indonesia and you know visiting the local universities. It is um, appreciated. Now the same team as well. They've been um, you know at Zimmer and Peacock we have technologies for helping you know with the R and D um, on biosensing, but we also have sensors in their own right. And something that we get a lot of inquiries from. Um, in Asia and in India is actually the chili sensor and, and the guys um, went out and actually visited chili growers so this is um, it was really good because in, you know these guys have gone out there and actually they took the chili sensor with them and they've you know talked to the actual farmers um, regarding the technology so um, and what's very nice about Indonesia is you can always take a very beautiful picture in Indonesia when you look at the pictures of the chili sensor next to all the um, chilies, you know, it, and the, with the bright light in Indonesia, you, you end up taking some um, very beautiful pictures. So well done to the team again, you know, not only went off, have they been going out to universities, but they've also then been going out to um, chili farmers. So um, really good hard work um, from the team in um, Indonesia slight different change of um, pace now we're actually going to talk about um, graphene electrodes I've always been on a personal note a little bit concerned for graphene because lots of people that were you know I think the bubble is somewhat passed but there was a lot of interest in graphene um, 
and my biggest concern was how are we ever going to manufacture this material at low cost so I'm sort of hoping at Zimmer and Peacock we've now kind of achieved that um, if you're watching the online version of this we now have some graphene electrodes um, they're on the same page as our hypervalue electrodes um, and in the video you can see that actually you can tell it's graphene because when you look at our normal graphite screen printed carbon electrode that's very sort of dark very black very matte colored but when you look at the graphene version it has a sort of more shiny grayish um, appearance and this is because of the sort of conductivity of the electrons I presume it's sort of it's it's much more like a metal um, is graphene um, and I sort of say in the video it's like a metalloid um, so we have managed to make um, some low-cost graphene electrodes so that hopefully that will really help the um, R&D community um, now I know it's depending on depending on where you are in the world um, one euro is 95 cents each does seem um, you know expensive but it really is the lowest cost graphene electrode on the market probably by far so we are proud that we actually managed to get these um, kind of electrodes manufactured and um, well done to the ZP team um, for doing that we had our developer zone um, um, this week just before the meeting we'd actually received an inquiry um, from um, an interested party in India and they said you know we require electrodes for voltammetry applications to do protein testing um, please provide guidance and electrodes that are suitable for this applications you know and they said the lecturers should have high repeatability and high reliability um, and so we really sort of tailored the entire um, presentation around these comments you know and so we showed you know how you can take a gold um, value electrode and um, turn it into a essentially an immunosensor because when they said protein I presume that they would you know they would want an immunosensor type um, electrode and I also touched upon a paper that we published where um, and we've done this at Zimmer and Peacock where we've taken one of our um, hypervalue electrodes and used ke chemistry then to couple to the hypervalue electrodes so the inquiry that we had from India um, this video was really specifically sort of to help them understand what they needed to do and when it comes and in the end they said well what electrodes do you need and I'm just addressing this to AFTAB they need gold value electrodes and hyper value um, carbon electrodes. Um, let's see if they go forward on that. Now this is, um, I was really quite happy with this this week because um, we have opened up this office in Swansea and I've seen many of you who sort of follow us have sort of said, you know, well done and we appreciate that. And it was also very good because the sort of, the Welsh business press had also picked up upon it and so you know Swansea University and Zimmer and Peacock were actually featured in I would say media that was much more mainstream so we were featured on the Business News um, Wales website we were featured on a um, website called businessfast.co.uk so it was nice to be um, featured on their website as well there's also um, healthtechworlds.co.uk and we were also featured um, on that website so much of the time you know we're very you know we're a very sort of niche high tech business so we don't always feature um you know in in more sort of um popular media but it was nice to be um picked up this time by um i would say me you know news news outlets media that's more um general so that was um we were very happy to you know be featured on, on all those um websites now the last thing I'm going to talk about, um, I hopefully I'll talk about it a bit more now in 2022 is um, we have um, received some, um, well we're basically going to do a PhD, um, we're going to do a PhD with a, um, with a researcher in Birmingham called um, Paula Mendez, I will just, um, if you're following online I'll just, link, I'll just show you where um, Paula's website is. So we are going to do a PhD um, with Paula Mendez, or make a PhD available rather. 
I think this PhD is going to be starting in um, 2022. We've recently just done some promotional videos with um, Paula, and it's probably just saying, you know, this PhD will be um, co co um, let's say co supervised by Paula and ourselves. Um, it's going to be part of um, something that's called Lifetime um, CDT. This is um, linked to the University of Glasgow. So there's these centers for doctoral training in the United Kingdom. Um, we applied and we have received funding. Um, we're going to have this project run with Paula Mendes. Now she's at, actually at the University of Birmingham, which is super useful because um, we do have the site in Coventry. And literally those, those campuses, her campus is probably only like 20 miles away from us. You know, I'm not, not even sure it's that far, but it's not far away from us at all. Um, so, you know, the idea will be that somebody will do their PhD at, essentially at the University of Birmingham. They can come to us in Coventry and, you know, work on site there. So I think that will be a, um, a super useful opportunity. I know many people are very interested in joining Zimmer and Peacock. And we always have these kind of, you know, statements like, you know, doing a PhD, doing a placement, doing an internship with us is the best way of really um, getting into Zimmer and Peacock, let's say. Um, and this is a tangible route into us. You know, this apparently, um, this has been funded. Um, ZP is making it a contribution. Um, I think the EPSRC funding body in the UK is making it a contribution, so it has been funded. So let me just do a quick, um, wrap up or summary for this week um, so we did put out some news about um, Omicron it's an unfortunate thing for the world but at least you know the ZP sensor will carry on working with the variant um, some other news from Zimmer people this week I just want to say a big thank you to the team in Indonesia they have been working hard they've been out to speak to um, academics regarding our sort of core technologies around biosensor development and they've also been taking the um, the chili sensor out to chili um, growers in Indonesia so we've been working really hard I think these graphene electrodes that have come from Zimmer people will be really useful for the R&D community and I have a super suspicion that these will play out really well um, in India as well because of the um, low cost um, we did our developer zone this week and as I say, the inquiry, we had specifically had an inquiry actually from India and in that, um, so in the developer zone this week, we actually responded to that inquiry. Thank you very much to the media in Wales who picked up on the fact that we've opened this um, lab up in Swansea and they were, um, you know, we got featured on several newspapers. And then finally, I think this is really quite good news. We do have, um, a lot of people who follow us on social media they follow us on the developer zone and i understand that people would like to get these you know these careers with us and we you know we're we are open we are trying to be um supportive of that and so for the some of the guys who are sort of more at their master's level then there will be a phd um we're working on it not working on it it has been funded it, there will be a sort of youtube video coming out promoting it um and that will take probably start in 2022 um, with Paula Mendes um, at the University of Birmingham, which is great location because as I say, it's just, just near to us. So I just want to say thanks to um, Aftab who came along this morning. Lots of the stuff I was talking about was specifically for him and I appreciate that. And um, yeah, thanks very much. If you follow the blog and podcast, I appreciate it. And that's the news from um, ZP for this week. But Appreciate you people who follow our news and we don't forget we have our ZP developer zone on 8 a.m. on Thursday. There's a lot of questions this week, so it will be the full 30 minutes, but I look forward to doing that. All right, Aftab, who's following us online, thanks very much. And I will see some of you on Thursday at 8 a.m. London time for the ZP developer zone. All right, take care. Bye-bye.